Hello everyone, my name is Tyler, and this week on Unity Particle Tutorials we will be talking about using meshes as uh, an emitter shape. So, uh, so, to start off with, I'm just using the, starting off with the default particle system this week, and I'm back to the default uh, project. We don't really need to use any of the Angry Bots project, fancy meshes or anything, so we'll just be sticking with this project for this week. Uh, back to the basics, if you will. Uh, so I guess without further ado, let's uh, start 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 the tutorial. So in Unity, in addition to rendering meshes as actual particles, you can also um, have a mesh as your actual emitter, and then have particles emit from that mesh emitter. So let's let's go change that real quick. And it starts off as uh, not using a mesh. It also looks kind of funky, but let's uh, let's actually change that real quick. Um, so our mesh, let's fix the rotation and the size of it a bit by changing the scale. There we go. It's a bit better. So you can there's there's three different kinds of ways you can have your particles emit from your mesh. The first one is the vertex. Let's let's cancel out the speed so we can see that a little bit more uh, clearly. So right now you can see each particle spawning at the vertex point uh, in your mesh. So that's one way you can have your particles emit from the mesh emitter. Another way is you can have it emit along the edges, and then the particles will kind of randomly spawn like at any point um, between two verte vertices in your mesh, so that's pretty handy as well. And the last one is triangle, where the particles will actually spawn inside each of your uh, triangles kind of randomly. So um, these will spawn inside of, inside of the faces of your mesh. So those are the kind of three different um, ways you can use uh, meshes to kind of emit particles. A lot of it depends on which mesh you're using, and you can do kind of a bunch of interesting things with different meshes. I'll try to show you a couple of those real quick. Um, so if we set it back to uh, edge, and then have a few more particles um, spawn, and then give them a bit more, uh, a, bit, a bit of speed. You can actually kind of see that there's, let's, let's reduce the size a little bit as well, and then kind of increase so we can have a little bit more particles. You can kind of see that there's almost like a rune shape happening, I think, if we do the vertex, it'll actually show it a bit more, yeah. So you can do kind of funky different shapes using meshes, um, they're just, they're just kind of a bunch of different, different nifty things you can do. If we switch our mesh over to... Unity's little uh, construction worker, and then turn off the speed, and kind of flip them over. You can kind of have like little sparkling uh, particles all over your character um, if you wanted to do that. So let's do triangles, it's a little bit more even. And so you can kind of see how you can have different uh, meshes kind of emit different things. You can do different things like rooms, you can have like kind of character effects using the shape and mesh of your characters. There's a whole bunch of different things that you can do, and it all usually depends on um, kind of what mesh that you use. You can also have your particles kind of go off in a random uh, direction, which they usually kind of default to, as you can see here. But you can make it a little bit more random by selecting that, or if, you, if, if, you're, if your mesh is actually flat like this, they'll all be going uh, upwards, so if you do random direction you'll be able to have them go in a random direction. But if, you're, if your shape is a little bit more complicated, they'll kind of default to that random direction. So um, that's about it for this tutorial. I'll be trying to do some research for some other tutorials that you guys might be interested in learning about. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. But thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.